I feel very honored that my poster has received first place in the competition. As a young Canadian, I didn't experience the Holocaust firsthand, but I felt its echoes through the experiences of people around me. Um, we're all citizens of the world, and I feel like it's really important that we talk about our shared history, even the parts that are really difficult. Um, it's the only way to ensure that history doesn't repeat itself. Young people often hear stories through the media. We're very used to taking in information visually. And as a young graphic designer um, who works in visual media, I feel honored that my poster can help talk about these important stories in a way that speaks powerfully to my own generation, as well as those generations that will follow. The inspiration for the design of my poster came from the Yad Vashim Museum archives, um, looking through the um, photo archives as well as the document archives reminded me of the countless hours that people have spent pouring through the documentation, trying to piece together sto the lost stories of their loved ones. I would like to thank Peter Cocking and Adam Christianball for organizing the poster workshop at Emily Carr University of Art and Design. I would also like to thank the Canadian judges who picked my poster as one of the seven Canadian finalists. I'd like to thank the international judges um, who were comprised of artists and designers as well as um, Holocaust experts. And I would like to thank the Yad Vashim Museum, um, the Yad Vashim World Center, as well as the um, International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. Um, I feel very honored that my poster will be a part of um, the exhibition to mark the International Holocaust Remembrance Day in January, as well as part of an educational resource. Um, thank you again for allowing me to be a part of commemorating the Holocaust. Thank you.